Hey, hello there. Uh, so this week I'll be practicing on the question on topic of try. So to start things easy, I got this question, 1065 index pairs of a string. Uh, so we have a text string, which could potentially, I guess, be a very large text corpus. And uh, we have a list of, of words that we want to search for the occurrence inside this uh, big, big uh, corpus. So for every word inside this list of words, we want to find the starting and ending index uh, of that word inside this text. Uh, so we, as a result, we return a list of uh, pairs of indices, where the each in, each pairs of indices is corresponding to a word in the word list that, that inside this uh, big big text. So as an example, we have the story of uh, Lee Code and Me. We want to find the starting and ending index for three different words story, fleet, and lead code. Uh, so story uh, start with three and end at uh, index seven. So that's the tuple that the pairs indices three, three and seven year means. Um, so the second example, the text is ABA, BA. The search words are ABA and AB. So the first uh, word ABA happens twice here, uh, zero, two, and uh, two, four. So that's those two. Notice that uh, uh, the indices are returned in the sorted order inside this list. So that's uh, that's that. Um, so just imagine that uh, the very brute force kind of um, solution would just be for every word inside this word list, we're going to do the find operation, find all kind of uh, operation for with between this word and the text corpus. So in the worst case, it will be the total length of the text corpus multiplied by the total length of the search term. Uh, that's the worst case will be very bizarre input like a a a a a a a a all the way. That's the text, and the search term is just a a a a a a a lot of a and a, a single b there. So um, when we do the matchings between this uh, this word search term and the, the text. Uh, in the only, only in the rear end, we will notice that uh, it's not a match. So that could potentially be those, the two lengths multiplied together. So that's the worst case. And uh, uh, but that's the worst case for the for a single word search. Uh, so for how many words we have, uh, we can potentially have how many uh, of those. So the total runtime complexity would just be those three different factors multiplied by together. Uh, in, in the worst case. Um, so that's uh, not so idea. Uh, a better solution is to use try. Uh, what we would need to do is to create a try uh, data structure with all the words we have. So for every location, uh, every position in, inside this uh, search text, uh, we're just going to do a try um, search. Try to um, uh, traverse inside this try data structure. Uh, use that uh, uh, use that the starting text as the starting character in uh, the, the given location as the uh, initial character that we use to traverse inside this try. So let's say that the, the maximum length of the uh, search term is L, the total number of, of characters for the search term is N, uh, the total runtime if we use try is going to be those two multiplied together. So we uh, dropped the number of uh, words inside uh, the uh, inside the word list pretty much. So uh, that reduced the uh, runtime complexity uh, in theory by, by a lot. Uh, but uh, in practice I guess um, this search term this search are easily parallelable uh, parallelizable and uh, uh, and um, under reasonable number of words we want to do this search, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. But in theory, using a try could be faster. And uh, uh, the thing about the search is that um, uh, if we just search word, word, word by word inside this text, it's constant space. Uh, but if we use the try, uh, it, the try takes up uh, the space that's corresponding to the, uh, the length of the characters inside the search term, the length of the search term multiplied by the number of words we have. Uh, so um, that takes some space, but you can argue that uh, if the input word list can be uh, put into memory or something like that, uh, the try could be also put into the memory. Uh, so we're trading basically trading space for uh, a runtime complexity. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much the analysis. Um, so just gonna try to code this out. 
Uh, the first thing first is to try to code up uh, the try data structure. Uh, I'm using a uh, actual object uh, try node. So uh, basically, the try node is a character to uh, char is a is a mapping between character to the uh, uh, try nodes objects. So the benefit about uh, using this default dict is basically it's like a in place. So um, it's constructing a new try node object uh, with the value provided. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it's creating the try node object uh, as the value, and uh, has that to associate uh, with the inserted key if it, the key is not inside uh, this uh, hash map. So it does two things. At uh, it could potentially do two things at, at the same time. Uh, sorry, I think I have a misspell. It's ch children. Um, um, so the node will also have a termination flag, meaning that uh, it's the end of the war. Uh, so just going to call this uh, end of war. So that's the definition for the individual try nodes inside this try data structure, the tree data structure. Uh, so the, in, the constructor for the try uh, it's basically we create a root node inside this tree. Um, that's just going to be an empty try node. And we would do the just just add one uh, insert uh, function. So here we basically for every word we want to insert in the, into this try data structure for we'll be enumerating over the word character by character. Uh, we try to find uh, the uh, create the character to try nodes association. Uh, so just building out uh, the try um, level by level, node by node by node, uh, according to the character ordering inside this word. The end, at the end of the word, we, uh, we turn on the boolean flag, indicating that uh, there is a word ending here. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, let me just uh, do a quick uh, um, quality of life improvements here. So this uh, thunder contain overrides the uh, uh, with this implementation we can use the in operator to test the, do we have a character uh, as the key inside this children uh, so we don't have to call node or children uh, in the later code uh, also maybe something like a get item. So yeah, so basically just uh, uh, checking and uh, getters for the stuff inside the, the hash map. All right, so let's uh, code the actual solution for this. Uh, so obviously the first thing first is to uh, populate this try. And for, for word inside this word list, uh, we're just going to insert the, that into the try. So the tr total runtime is basically k multiplied by l, um, time and space. k is the uh, number of words, l is the maximum length of words.
Uh, yeah. So with that, uh, we should we could start the search. So for this routine, uh, try search routine function, uh, you basically use this uh, i's character inside the search text, the text i, uh, as the entry point into the try, um, and just try to uh, look for the j's locations and uh, see do we still have a match, do we still have match inside the try, and along the way we'll collect all those ij pairs and put, push those onto the solution. So that's going to be for J. Um, uh, in range, um, maybe we should use a while loop. So, so I will need to use a break. Initially, the J is equal to I, so we're looking at the, the single character there. Um, so we get a node from the, the try start at the, the root and just try to uh, traverse uh, deeper and deeper Uh, end of word, uh, we just push this IJ pair onto the solution. Am I misspelling? No, okay. okay. Yeah, that's uh, that seems to be pretty much the uh, majority portion of the code. Let me do some quick checks. Okay. So on the try data structure, we define a try node, which is uh, uh, every try node contains a character uh, to try nodes mapping. So it's the character that's following the, the current try node inside this try data structure. Uh, so this uh, character to node mapping can allow us to traverse inside this uh, try data structure. For every try node, we also have a end of word flag indicating the end of uh, a actual word, so that we know when we should push the IJ pair onto the solutions. Uh, here is just uh, uh, the the contains and uh, get item that makes this uh, text uh, you know character in node checking a little bit uh, slightly less the code I guess, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the initial initialization for the try. Uh, class it's basically just to have an empty root node so there is no character no whatsoever in there, inside there yet uh, the insert is for for the for a given word uh, we try to process this character by character uh, if there is not a node with that character we try to create that and use that node to uh, use the newly created association to go further inside the stride data structure once we reach the end of the word, we turn on the uh, boolean flag. So it looks okay here uh, for the try class. So let's look at uh, the actual code here. Uh, we initialize the try, so it's empty right now. Then what we do is to insert all the words w one by one inside this try data structure. The runtime for this is uh, the number of words multiplied by the length of the word. Uh, then uh, we have another iteration, uh, uh, you know, this loop iterating over the all the index inside the search term. So this is the order of n multiplied by l. So the l part comes from the try search uh, because uh, when we start with a, a character, we use that uh, as the entry point and just. Uh, try to go as far as possible, as deep as possible inside this try uh, until we either uh, at the leaf node, run out of the leaf node or we reach the end of the search text or that the, the character is no longer a valid pass inside this try data structure 
um, until until that. So the uh, maximum is pretty much the uh, the length of the turns we have. So it's going to be up, usually be upper bounded by by this this condition here. Um, so once we reach the end of the maximum length of a node inside this try, this will be a invalid. So this will be a no pointer. Um, and uh, and yeah, so so what we would do is to um, just to keep traversal uh, character by character. Uh, and uh, whenever we find we have an end of word flag, we push the IJ pair onto the solution. So doing this, uh, it's guaranteed that uh, the IJ pairs inside the solution as uh, in the sorted order. So we don't need to do a second pass of sorting uh, ourselves. Okay, so I got the problem. Um, nothing being pushed onto the solution. Uh, what's the reason for that? Oh, okay. I was I was thinking about using a for loop uh, uh, when I was coding this function, but in the end, uh, uh, I changed my idea and uh, coded a while loop. So for that reason, I should uh, that increment the jig by myself. Uh, so let's see if this time it works. Yeah, it seems so. Okay. All right. So it's working. Uh, it's using more memory than uh, other people's uh, most. The majority of other people's solution, uh, so I guess they used a search, uh, but the runtime is uh, okay, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. With the try, uh, uh, I think the runtime in theoretical, uh, you know, theoretical speaking, is should be less compared to do the brute force uh, word search, uh, you know, search for the words position word by word inside this uh, text. Um, and the code is uh, easy to understand as well. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's this question. I guess use try is definitely not the uh, easy level, uh, but uh, and also doing for the amount of code you had to come up with. Uh, maybe uh, over care for this question, but but I think uh, in the case of uh, the a lot of repetition in the corpus and uh, the word search term are similar. Um, th this could be. Could be useful, I guess. Uh, yeah. So that's this question today.